So I just want to take this chance to say something about Benioff and Weiss that's not necessarily negative. I also want to say, only time will tell on this, but from my point of view, from someone coming off who really doesn't appreciate the Star Wars franchise, Lucasfilms, and how they're treating the fans, I'll say this. So far, Benioff and Weiss have not attacked the fans as far as I know. If you guys know, share something, let me know. But they're handling it so far in silence, which is better than attacking fans. Now make no mistake, if they do attack fans, yeah, I'll be all on it. I'll be all over them. You know, there's no excuse, but the thing that really pissed me off about Star Wars was how Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy, but I guess especially Ryan Johnson and of course Kathleen Kennedy, because Ryan Johnson said the things about man babies, this and that. Kathleen Kennedy had more of the subtle way of putting down male fans. But my point is, if they keep their mouth shut and they're modest, then I'll count that as one good point for them. I can't blame them for being dumb and dumber, as people say. If they're dumb, I can forgive that. If they are modest, but what I cannot forgive is calling people like me, 40-year-old white dude, man, baby, basement dweller, that kind of thing. So, the thing I'm throwing out there for you guys is that, alright, let's just take a deep breath and realize that Benioff and Weiss are not actually attacking fans at this point. As far as Star Wars goes, that's the other big thing. What's going to happen with Star Wars now? Their new trilogy was kind of anticipated. We thought they could probably do a good job, actually. But now, obviously, people are like, oh my god, I don't want these two people touching Star Wars. Well, here's the thing. In Star Wars, we had characters we were already invested in get messed up. And I know what you're saying. In Game of Thrones, that happened too. But the thing is, when they have a clean slate with characters nobody's ever heard of or ever known, it, it's a little bit different as far as them ruining it. However, yeah, obviously I'm totally skeptical if they're going to have the sense to end Game of Thrones the way they are, the way they did. We don't have the final episode out yet, but what I'm saying is the bad sense to ruin some plot arcs and characters for people like they did. Who knows what they're going to do with Star Wars? Build up some awesome character, then have some final episode where the expectations are subverted. And yeah, you know, we had some silly battle scenes. We had this scene where, to me it was silly, this is one of the things I didn't like about the fifth episode, is that... We have this fleet of ships all around, I think there was 50, 70, 20, whatever there was. It was dozens of ships, and they couldn't hit Dakaris, and before that, they were just like shooting dragons like flies out of the air. Well, just the one. You guys know what I mean. They took down the first dragon so easily, then the second dragon, I was like, when are they going to fire at this thing? It was like so much time was going by. It was just like such a bad battle scene. Is that how the spaceship battle's going to go in Star Wars? They're going to have all these you know, ships, TIE fighters or whatever, you know, flying around one ship, they're not shooting, then after five minutes they take one shot and miss. I wouldn't want to see that, I don't think. Obviously the way they handled the Long Night was really bad. That was also, yes, one of my biggest complaints was that battle just didn't really do it for everyone. You know, it was just kind of uh, obviously dark, technically bad. Many of us have issues with Arya killing the Night King. It kind of has nothing to do with her plot and it just kind of takes away from her possibly killing Cersei in the future. Huh, I don't know. But, you know, I'm not here to talk about all the crap that they might or might not do in the future. Well, that's part of it. This will always be talking about. But I'm also just saying, at least, at least, they're not insulting the fans like Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy and a lot of the other people, by the way. Even J.J. Abrams who said this thing about, oh, well, you're threatened by women if you don't like Ray." Holdo, well, hinting towards, you know, the women in The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. So we don't have any of that so far. We don't have HBO coming out or Martin's coming out saying, you guys just don't understand the books, you idiot readers. You know, if they do that kind of thing, then, yeah, I will be 100% against it. And I will speak out more about the negativity about Game of Thrones right now. Um, like somewhere just right in the middle. Like there's things I really don't like, things I'm okay with that some people thought were like, too fast or rushed, which is cool. I mean, if it's rushed, you know, that's one thing. But if I if I can see how that character would get to that point, then, all right, you know, I'm okay with Jamie and Cersei dying together. I don't think that was, like, the biggest mistake. I'm okay with Danny going mad, but I understand the complaints out there. I got no problem with any complaints about that. I'm not going to defend it, say, like, hey, it happened great. Eh, I just accept some things, some things I don't. The point is, I'm not all negative. And one of the reasons is I'm giving them a chance so far because they're not spinning at me, attacking me, saying your opinion sucks, you don't know, we didn't make any mistakes. So I kind of learned something, as a matter of fact, from Ryan Johnson and Kathleen Kennedy, is that 
an attitude of the creator or the person who's producing it really helps. If they come out with some kind of like, I'm sorry statement, that'll really help me. You know, I'll be like, all right, all right, like, yeah, the show's messed up and the last season is not as enjoyable as the beginning seasons. I don't know, the middle's a mixed bag, but let's just stick with the season for now. It's not as good. But if I have this little apology thing, yeah, maybe I'll I'll watch it one day for the hell of it on a rainy day and, you know, I could feel a little better about it. Maybe I'll even buy the collection or whatever just to own it and feel better about it. But if they're like, you suck, you man, baby, you stupid idiot. You don't like women, so you don't like women, so Arya wasn't a good choice for killing the Night King because she's a girl. You know, if they say something like that, I'm like, well, that kind of leaves a bad taste in my mouth, so F you, I'm not buying a thing. You know, or whatever. Just saying. You guys let me know what you think about that down in the comments. I'm talking fast because why not? Maybe it holds attention better. I'm doing shout outs, special thanks, things like that. Star Wars, obviously I'm talking about Star Wars here. Game of Thrones, Lord of the Rings, pop culture, whatever I could think of. Japan vlogs. See you next time.